Hello YouTube, welcome to TechLingo and welcome to the new video series called 50 Tips About Windows 8. In this video series, I'll be sharing 50 tips and tricks about the new Windows 8 operating system. And this is the second video of this video series and today I'll talk about, about app groups. In Windows 8, the start screen app are initially displayed in a random order so the new start screen in Windows 8 can easily look cluttered as more apps are installed so finding what you need might become difficult unless you search for the app it is recommended that you organize your apps into groups and name them grouping your apps will allow you to quickly jump to the apps you want I have default apps that came with Windows 8 and also I've installed Microsoft Office 2013 so if I scroll to the right I can see Office apps like I said when you keep on adding the apps the start screen will become cluttered and it will be very difficult to find an app unless you search for the app Okay, if you see here to the bottom right corner of the desktop, you'll see a button which looks like a dash button. So if you click this, it will zoom out. What you can do is you can create a new group called people somewhere here. And you can drag apps such as people mail, messaging, and calendar over to the left hand side to form a separate group called people. Alright, let me show you that. Alright, let me zoom back in. I'll drag this app to the left side and I'm gonna drag people app to the left side messaging app and calendar app to the left side as well now that I have them in one group what I can do is I'll zoom out and I'll right click on that group and you'll see you get an option that says name group now I can type a name for this group and I'll call it as people and I'll click name alright you can see we have people right here so if I zoom in again come to the far left and see people group and that I can see mail app, people app, messaging app and calendar app likewise I'm gonna create another group called office okay first thing that I'll do is I'll drag all the office apps to the right side so let me take word and put it to the right side same with Excel you can put them in any order and next thing I'll do is I'll put PowerPoint, Outlook, Link, OneNote, Publisher, Access, InfoPath, InfoPath Filler 2013. All right, I got them all in one group now I need to name this group so I'll zoom out I'll right click on the group I'll click name group and I'll name this as office 2013 all right so there we go we have Office 2013. Let me zoom in back. 
All right, so this is how you create groups. First, you drag the apps, group them together, and then you name the group. One other thing that you can do is you can move apps from one app group to another app group. Let's say I want to move Word 2013 from Office 2013 app group to, to the people group that I created. Right? It's that easy. Let me put this back to the Office 2013 group. If you want to delete a group, all you need to do is you right click on the group, the name group appears, you delete the name of the group, and you name it. Alright, there we go. We don't have any name to the group. And now you can move these apps wherever you want. Alright, so this is how app group works in Windows 8. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please click like. More videos will be coming up, so please click subscribe to watch the next video in this video series.